Oh, hey there guys and welcome back to another mod review on Bibliocraft. Now, um, last week I did um, Jammy's Furniture mod and a lot of you told me to check out this one and also do like more mods, uh, mod reviews on like feed the or mods in the Feed the Beast pack. So, since I know a bit about this mod and I think it's pretty cool, I, uh, I uh, downloaded it and I will show you guys what is awesome about this mod. And uh, yeah, so Bibliocraft adds a, um, a lot of things to do with books and um, also a lot of things to do uh, that like you know organize things in your Minecraft a lot like uh, easier and awesome so uh, let's start over here because uh, we love music now what we've got here is a shelf and what a shelf can hold is just about anything right now it's holding my record discs um, that's this is what I this is what I use it for and feed the beast and um, and then you can you can put like anything on here. I've just got these record discs here, and you right click on them on each each like you know face to put them in, and you right click on them to put them back. And if you click on like an empty space, you can also enter in this little gooey part, and then you can put them in through that. And you guys can put anything on here. I mean, like we can put some some heads. I'm gonna put a head like a creeper head in there, and um, it'll always. I'm pretty sure it always shows up like as a like like as a like as, as a two D item. So if I put like a sword in there. Shows up as a 2D item, unless I switch to... No, nah, 2D item. I'm currently on fast, I'll show you guys that in a second. Um, but yeah, it's, it, it'll always show up like as a 2D item. So let's put Cat on so we can uh, give that a listen while we while we do this video. Uh, so next up, we have the... Uh, let me put these back. Get in my way. Get in the way. Put that back there. Okay, so next up we have here is the little... Um, what's this called? Like a... A red line cave. Oh, I forgot to show how this is crafted. This is crafted like uh, like this, and um, everything that uses wood in this mod um, can be made in each different color. So we can make this with spruce, birch, and, and jungle. So it's really really awesome. So you can you know fit them in with your house. I just like the oak ones. I don't know why. I think the other color colors are a bit weird. Um, okay, so this thing here. This is a uh, this one here is a red lined oak case. And uh, down here we have a, a black one, and uh, these are pretty cool. Um, they can hold one item. Any, I'm, I'm not sure. Th I don't think it's actually any item. Uh, it's mostly just tools and stuff. But uh, they're, they're a bit more expensive than the other things, and they can only hold one thing. But you hold down Shift or Sneak and right click to open it with nothing in your hand. If you do it with like a sword or something, um, it'll, uh, you can't, you can't do it. You have to use your hand. And you right click on the thing in there to, to take it out. And if you right click on it while it's empty, you can also put it in there. Um, let me see, can you put, you can put swords and, uh, what else, can you like put like pumpkin pie in there? Oh, I guess it's anything, I thought it was just tools and stuff, but yeah, they're pretty cool if you, you can put them, uh, standing up and you can also put them lying down. Um, and yeah, so that's really awesome, they also come in, uh, green and blue. You just gotta change the cloth that you use to, uh, to craft them. Okay, so, and the thing in this one, this one looks a little bit weird, what is this thing? So if you right click here, take that out. This is a tape measure, and what you use this for, actually, come on cat, shut up. <laughs> uh, this has a pretty cool sound to it. So, uh, you do this to uh, to do what it, what you actually use a tape measure for, and that's to, to measure distance, I guess. Um, so if you click on here, does that, wait, listen, listen. How awesome is that sound? <laughs> but um, if you want to measure a distance, which I think I'll actually, I'll actually make one of these and feed the beast, because there's a lot of measuring in that. You right click, measures from one point, and then you left click, um, right click again, and then uh, it measures how, how how far it is. So like, if you want to be like, I don't know, measure like your farm or something, like I don't know how big that is off the top of my head, but it's seven. So the middle will be right there, if you want to like, measure the middle or something. But yeah, that is pretty sick. Come back, cat. <laughs> uh, okay, moving on over here, we got the armor stands. Now this is like my second favorite or sort of favorite thing in this in this mod um, and it does what it's what it's what it's called I guess um, and it holds armor it's crafted with two pieces of iron and some stone slabs and uh, you can put any type of armor on it even like mod armor it really doesn't matter really simple you just uh, open up this GUI and, and click it in you can also like take it straight off your body in so that's pretty sick I use this in feed the beast too it's really awesome um, so, which should we do? We'll do this one first. Okay, so this one here is a tool rack, and, uh, you do with it what what it's called. You put tools on it. Um, just tools. So, like, no, you know, pumpkin pies on this thing. Just tools. So, um, you can also put mod items and, uh, various other things like that. They also come in all, all three colors, and it's crafted like this with some iron in the middle. Uh, oak slabs. Yay! So, you can hold your tools on there. It's really awesome. Um, I don't know, I usually like to hold them in my hotbar, but yeah, 
Cool way of storage. Okay, so in this chest we have these things called um, labels. And uh, labels can be put on anything. You know, chests, I think they're the most useful for. Um, but they're crafted like this. Some slabs. <laughs> it's a lot of wood just for like that little thing there, but oh well. Um, and it's a it's a cheaper item frame. It can also ho hold um, three different items. So if we put uh, two different... Is it two? Let me see. I think you just... What do we do? What do we do? <gasps> what do we do? I forget how to use this thing. Ah, there we go. It's shift clicked with an empty hand. Derp. I was trying to... Oh well. So yeah, you can put anything in. I was right. And um, it's sort of like a cheap, cheap item frame. You can also, um, you know, put three things in it. So you can show like... Um, what's in your chest or or something else like if you're doing like a sky block or something you won't have any leather So I guess that's a that's a good substitute for if you want to install this mod um, Okay, let's what what's next close you get closed up here. Actually, we need to start cat again <gasps> Do we can't have there we go good. Whew. All right, so up here We have the writing desk now this thing is really awesome and decorative and I go good with Jamie's furniture mod um, What happened to my book? I wrote a book before. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, well, let's just spawn another one. I was writing that book before. I think I... Oh, yeah, I, my, my game froze because I... Stupid me. I was changing my screen. Ah! Where is, is their books? Fail. Okay. Let's write it again. Look at this there. Okay, done. So, what this thing is for is... Um, you can't edit books with it. That's what I was hoping you could do. But um, what I like to do with it is just sport, um, like hold my... Um, you know book and quill if I'm like if I'm working on a book or something like a like a list so you can put that there and it can also hold written books and it looks really cool if you get it all filled up but um yeah that's what I like using it for just holding a book and quill and it is crafted really simply just if I can freaking find it where is it here um a feather a torch slabs and two pieces of wood awesome okay let's move on to the shelves um, now there are two types of shelves. This one is the potion shelf as you can see and this one is the bookshelf This is probably my favorite uh, item in the mod, but we'll do that in a second. This one is um, Pretty hardcore <laughs> on your is that the right word? It, it hurts your system quite a lot now I've got like a good I've got like a GTX something or rather and a, and 8 gigs of RAM and that stuff and I'm getting like under 30 frames while looking at this with um with fancy graphics on because of all of this animation going on. So um if you guys don't have the good computers, just watch out while you're um using one of these. That this might be a solution to this the problem with the lag because like I was trying to work out what before I recorded this video, I was like, what? 60, 20, 60, 20, 60, 20, 60. Oh <laughs> yeah, that was my problem. And um yeah, you can put any type of potion on here, water bottle. Splash potion, regular potion, and you just uh, right click to open up the GUI if it's full. And uh, you can also just click it right into place and you can have them, you know, wherever you want. So if I remove those, you can see that they remove there. And we can put them back in wherever we want. So yeah, that's awesome. That's a really cool way to store your potions because potions can't stack and they really fill up chests really quickly. Um, but I might not use this too often because, you know, if I have this many potions uh, in front of me, I only get 20 frames. So. Let's uh, get that off our screen. Let's switch back to fast. Yeah, with fast they don't animate. <laughs> they look more colorful with fast on. Um, okay, so finally we have the bookshelves here. And it's do it does what it's called. And um, what I like to put in this thing is, you know, the books that you will never use. Uh, oops, that's the wrong shelf. Where is it? Here. Vayner Master Pods 1. Oh, I don't know. Is it up here? Yeah. Vayner Master Pods 1. <laughs> You know when you enchant a book and you get that enchantment that you don't want, you you don't want to throw away the book because it's a uh, cause it's an enchantment. Why would you just throw away an enchantment? So this is a good way to store them because they they just stack up in chests like so quickly. Way to fill up a chest and chests are big and clunky and this thing you know uh, it fits on the wall and it can hold what is that one two three four five six seven eight sixteen sixteen books. And uh, you know when you when you fill them up they uh, they get more filled up on the side there um, You can't do it like the potions with on this one like you know have it So like one book in the middle is missing because you know when your books are standing by themselves they fall over So yeah, this is something that people have wanted in Minecraft for ages and Mojang still haven't given it to us I don't know 1.6 maybe no idea um, And the the two shelves one is crafted like this so one has the potion in the middle and the bookshelf is crafted like this. So it has like the slabs and then the thing on the side. So I guess you can work. These ones are all pretty simple and they're all on the uh, 
on the mod page. But um, yeah, I'm going to take you out because that's going to annoy me in post-editing <laughs> when I'm trying to edit this video to do the outro. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any more mods that you want me to review or whatever, be sure to leave a comment down below and I will try to do more of these because they're, they're pretty simple to do. You just got to work out the mod and, and put the things up everywhere. Let's put some freaking diamond armor on. Where are you? Here, bam, 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 bam. You can shift click that right on here. And uh, let's get these tools here. That, there we go. Let's get that. I wanted the sword. That's a weird way to hold a sword. Ow. Why is it doing it like that? Oh, I don't know. Is that fast graphics? Wow. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And um, I will see you whenever I see you next. Bye! Bye.